the great downtown Buffalo has seen a major revamping. Such a beautiful mural right behind me, right? Trying to keep it a secret, but I'm gonna show you guys all the ins and outs. Still the architectural design from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, but has done a lot as far as change goes and modernization goes down here. It has seen a total revamp. And that's what we're going to take you guys through. Recharge, revamp, full of entertainment, new downtown Buffalo. What does it look like? What is it not? I'm gonna take you guys through this full tour. Let's do it. We're about to walk inside of Buffalo's theater district. Buffalo is super known for its art scene, right? What better place than give Buffalo its own theater district? I'm talking about live performances, 710 Shades, Buffalo Original Save, the, the Trout, the Town Ballroom. I mean, so many different things. And if you want to laugh, the Helium Comedy, Comedy Club is just around the corner. This is a part of that true revampness that's going on in and around the area. Plus the best barbershop inside the city. Sinclair's Barbershop, owned by my cousin Jason Macklin. Hey, the chopper fellas. My guy, what's going on? But the best barbershop you can get down here in the same area. This is located right here on Main Street. Shays even have his own bar and grill where you know you can sit down, eat, get a drink, watch the performance, and eat while you're watching a performance that you came to watch get performed. Woo! Oh my gosh, let's do this. All right, so now we're right in front of Shays. I mean, this is all still Main Street, all still the theater district. I mean, there's really a, a few things to do down here. Um, the nice part is this, like you have a lot of theaters, movies, right? But you have a bunch of restaurants over here too. Sue's Deli actually moved down the street and we'll actually walk past that um, shortly. But the wet, the uh, downtown bazaar, as you guys see across the street right there, there's a bunch of different restaurants and kind of like a collective of restaurants inside that area that you can go down, sit at, uh, which is really, really nice and dope. I really like that place. It, and there's another one too over on the west side as well. Now, as you can see, I mean, there's some empty buildings, some empty lease spacing um, options for you guys that can easily um, be taken up if you guys are looking to be downtown. So, I mean, that's a beautiful shot right there. That gold crown right there, that's the MNT building. I'll show you guys that a little bit later on. But for now, let's walk on down to Chippewa. Sue's Deli, there we go.
Now, Chippewa still reigns supreme when it comes to the nightlife. Don't let anybody fool y'all. Is there a lot of other places you can go? Yeah, but for the most part, if you're going to really like, hey, we going out tonight, Chippewa is still really that main hub and it still reigns supreme. This street is full with nothing but bars, grills, clubs, and a good time. Um, that place across the street right there, that wine bar restaurant, I always pronounce it wrong. Bachas, bachacas, something like that. I'm sorry if you're watching this video and I'll pronounce it wrong, but they say that's an amazing restaurant. I haven't been yet, but that is definitely on the list for a nice date night. Uh, Frankie Primo's, oh, real good. They got a real good Italian spot, great pizza. Um, but Soho across the street, now that's going to be a packed place on a Friday and Saturday night. And we'll walk past that in just one second. Soho. They do have a dress code. So just be, just be mindful. If you're walking in there, they got a dress code and they will not let you in. Bottoms up. That's more of like a urban, more hip hop music, R&B kind of vibe there. Venue is pretty dope, but a lot of people do go to the rec room. You kind of see those two hours down, which we better walk past. The rec room is a real nice vibe in there, especially if you really want to get your party on. You have a more of a younger crowd in their rec room too, I would say. The famous gyms across the street from Starbucks. Starbucks is dope. Nothing wrong. I love a good mango dragon fruit light ice with lemonade. If y'all ever think about meeting me at Starbucks, that's 10 times out of 10 what I'm going to be drinking. But probably more times than not, we'll probably meet at Spot Coffee across the street. I just love the vibe in Spot Coffee. Any of them, honestly. It's like six of them. Um, I generally go to the one in Williamsville all the time, but that's another story for a different day. Uh, these are dope. The chocolate bar waves. Uh, subway full uh, and then you guys already know down the street if you can see that kind of like Ted sign down there that is really what everybody loves now I don't eat hot dogs per se but probably 99% of people do <laughs> so if you want a good saline hot dog Ted's is the place to go for sure and say saline is a specific type of um, hot dog that we generally serve up here in a Buffalo, New York area. There we go. Ted's just about to open up. They ain't even put the chairs down yet. Now, across the street right here, this is a uh, Hush Tech. Now, one thing I will say about downtown Buffalo is that like most downtowns, parking sucks, right? But the good thing is parking is cheap. Like I can come down here on any day, pretty much. Unless it's a, an event going on close by, I can come down here any day and pay anywhere from like five to about ten dollars in parking. Y'all don't believe me? I'm gonna show you. So there's a Park Mobile app, right? So what you wanna do? You wanna get on your phone and hit the Park Mobile app. So what you always gonna want is the prepaid Park Mobile app right here. So the Park Mobile app, this is how you come on. You gonna hit this zone right here or whatever zone that you in, and that's gonna allow you to pay for parking down here and again it's always cheap like i said eight bucks don't matter really when it is when it's an event though you check that event schedule because when that event schedule come out you can pay thirty dollars instead of that five dollars all right swinging on into city hall so this is literally down the street but i didn't want to bore you guys with the video of me just walking down the street so this is our city hall Lily coming right off Niagara Street here. You got a couple statues. The FBI building is to my left, which I don't know if you can film the FBI building, so I did not. I didn't want to take no chances of them coming out. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, Grover Cleveland right there, statue, pretty dope. This is in front of City Hall. A lot of people take pictures here. I mean, just the architectural design of City Hall is just absolutely phenomenal. I forget how many years it took them to build this thing, but it was definitely like 15 20 years to build it now for all of you history buffs that's gonna correct me and say it's exactly 18 it's okay so they got some amazing food trucks down here at city hall on this beautiful thursday so 
Let's go get something to eat as always. And they got some camera playing in the background. Look at that. So I actually forgot all about this, that on Thursdays in the summer, they actually, these food trucks actually come down here and basically just feed everybody inside the, the business district right here, which is pretty dope. Luca's Latin uh, kitchen is pretty Well, good. I was trying to get some food, but them lines, was, they was waiting over there for 20, 30 minutes. I mean, the food is good, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to finish the video at least, you know what I'm saying? But what we are about to go is go get some great food from Monty's. That is really what I came downtown for. As soon as I thought vlogging downtown, I thought, let's go get some Monty's while we down there. Now I did come back the next day, so this is Friday. Um, just to show you guys what this beautiful, though, you know, um, the McKinley statue looks like without all the people, a, eh? and then with the food truck surrounding it. But yeah, I forgot all about the food truck Thursday. Generally, it's always food truck Tuesday down in Larkinville. So um, either you go to Tuesday or Thursday. This is around lunchtime though on Thursday, and then Larkinville is gonna be on um, Tuesday, like after work happy hour time. So like four, five, six, seven, I think it stops at around eight or nine. And you have some, I mean, you have 10, 12 food trucks out there, if not even more. But I'll let the video play a little bit and I'll check back in with you guys. So now we're coming up to Church and Pearl right here. So as you walk down Pearl, these are really just some great sites as far as building goes. I mean, you have the old, I can't say old, but historical <laughs> church. You got some monumental buildings right here. I mean, these buildings have been, man, preserved, redone, windows, flooring. I mean, just some amazing, amazing buildings. And just look at the architecture. One of those seals has a design or artwork on them all around, going all around the molding. I mean, these these buildings have been just honestly preserved greatly. This church has been around for God knows how long. I mean, just look at that thing. 
So as we turn it uh, tour down to Pearl Street, I really wanted just to kind of speed this up a little bit um, as we walk down because in the Pearl is really where all the happenings is and walking right into Pearl Street Bar and Brewery. This is honestly one of my favorite, favorite restaurants uh, down here. And then there's so much going on, kind of like on this corner. As you can see, that big red building across the street, that's going to be Seneca One. So much going on in Seneca One from A, you have housing so a lot of apartments i think i think it's like five floors of apartments inside this building but you also have restaurants eateries um there's no breweries yet but there are beer gardens that they do have from time to time as far as events go but you can actually host your wedding there they have massive massive event spaces in there and also mnt is partner with seneca one and douglas company that allows them to house a lot of their employees but not only that they have startup spaces office spaces that if you're a startup or a local company that you want to rent out some office space or you just want to go in there use it for an hour as a meeting space you can do that as well so Seneca one is really so forward thinking with Jamal Douglas and the things that he's doing and developing there's so much going on inside this place it's crazy one of my pet peeves is when people are saying ain't nothing to do in Buffalo yeah, I do know that no matter what city you go to, the people born inside that city will say the same thing about that city. Crazy, right? But I'm gonna give you some things to do in downtown Buffalo that you may not have thought of in the last couple of months, minutes or so. So one, people are crazy about sports in Buffalo, right? You can always go catch a game. You got Bisons, you got the hockey games, you have the football games when they come to summer. A lot of y'all just care about the football around here. But did y'all know the Bandits just won a championship in the NLL? That's wavy, not many people talking about it besides a select few people. But I'm here to tell you that they brought a championship, the Buffalo Bandits lacrosse team has brought a championship to Buffalo. You should be talking about it more. Now, Bison's game, that's anywhere starting right now. Summertime when it's hot, you can see the sweat dripping off my forehead. And then you also have coming up, you have practice or OTAs or Bills practice coming up in about two months or so, not even. And you already know everybody, already know September roll around, you got Bills Mafia going. As most people know, one of the dope things about Buffalo is that the art scene on every, almost every corner, every street, every building, you're going to find murals, art murals. I mean, these are artists that come from all over the entire U.S. that Buffalo brings in and just to make, the, I mean, look how beautiful that is. That's Silo City right there. Like, look how beautiful, like, that's literally an art mural, a silo city. I mean, it's just beautiful the way these artists come in and transform what would be a naked wall to something monumental. So, but I'm hungry right now. I thought we was going to make it to Monty's. I don't think I'm about to walk another 30 minutes because I haven't ate all day and it's 2 o'clock already.
Any really restaurant I go to, I always get fried calamari. Super good. So I got the fried calamari and a bourbon barbecue chicken sandwich. They had a special today. And today is my birthday. So don't be asking me why I'm having a beer at 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Leave me alone, all right? Riverworks and Canal Side. They have done this thing up. If you want to go get a boat tour, there's boats flowing right behind me. You guys can go catch one. Behind me or right around here is a zip line. You can also go toward the barrels. You got Silo City, which you can take a tour of. You have a Riverworks bang right there, right behind me. You guys can go eat, drink, and party all night long. It is there. It starts at lunchtime and they don't end till about 10 p.m. every single night. And one of my favorite bars, distilleries, and breweries is Hartman's and Resurgence. They're really right next door to each other. If I turn this camera around and point it that way, which we'll get into in the next video, it is Hartman's and Resurgence. So there's plenty of things to do. Now, I know what you're thinking. We didn't go to Canal Side or what is Canal Side in the first war. We'll get into that in the next video. We kept it really downtown and kind of centered on around the downtown area in this one. So as always, if you guys don't already know, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. If you guys are moving up to the Buffalo area or already in the Buffalo area looking to move around, real estate is my thing and I would love to be of service to you guys. All right, if you need anything, call, email, text. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. We gonna be covering Canal Side with everything right behind me right now and all the other things that it has to offer. Let's do it.